Hello, Devils fans. I'm Sam Kassan, joined by the newest Devil, Timo Meyer. Timo, first of all, thanks for joining me today. And first of all, let's get right into it. What's it like so far being a New Jersey Devil? I know it's still very new. You got a lot of people you got to get to meet, get to know. But how the first few days been? Yeah, the first uh, couple days have been uh, unbelievable. Everybody's been so, so welcoming, uh, teammates and staff and everybody. So it's been uh, very easy for me to to feel comfortable and uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed every second of it. I know you're chomping at the bit to get on the ice and fans know you pretty well as a hockey player, but may not know you as a person as much. So let's, let's talk a little bit about your background. I know obviously from Switzerland. Where did you grow up? What was it like there? And what are you, some memories you have from your childhood? Yeah, so uh, I grew up in Harrisau, Switzerland. Um, it's a smaller city, um, 15,000 people that live there. So uh, yeah, very nice. I grew up very close to the, the hockey rink, which was, uh, yeah, probably the reason why I'm here right now. So yeah, played, uh, played hockey in my hometown until I was about uh, 12 years old and switched a couple teams to get in higher uh, yeah, higher levels, uh, ended up going to Canada with 16, playing in the CHL, and yeah, played, uh, went to San Jose with 19, and uh, played there for seven years, and here I am now on a new chapter with the, with the Devils. That brings us all up to date, I say. But uh, when did you know you wanted to play hockey? I mean, were you five, six, seven? When you're like, this is, this is what I want to do, this is my passion, this is the sport I want to play? Because other, I know especially European guys, they play soccer, there's a lot of different interests. Were you a hockey guy all the way? Yeah, I got into hockey through my neighbor. Um, my neighbor, uh, yeah, good friend. He's the uh, same age as me, so I went to school together later on. But he started playing hockey. They lived a, a house down, and, and his dad was, uh, was a professional hockey player. So he got his son into hockey and uh, kind of made me want to try it. And then, uh, yeah, stepped on the ice for the first time and, and loved it. Gave uh, soccer a shot, too. But... Uh, Figured out pretty quickly. Uh, I was more of a hockey player type of guy. Didn't really have much skill in soccer. So yeah, that, uh, that got me here. And yeah, like I said, stepped on the ice the first time and loved it ever since. Did you have the nasty shot you had then when you were young too? Or when did that kind of develop along the way? Um, I mean, I always liked, the, I always liked shooting pucks and I was uh, destroying my, my mom's, uh, actually the, the clothes uh, washer and uh, yeah just the dryer as well. So I was shooting pucks there and trying to hit it in uh, in the dryer. So my mom wasn't too pleased uh, with that, but I'm sure she's pretty happy about that now. So say once you signed your first contract, the first thing you bought your mom was the new washer and dryer? Uh, no, no, I actually didn't, but I might have to make up for that, yeah. That's fair. And what was that transition like going from, because obviously you came over to play in the Canadian Hockey League. What was that transition like being so far away from home, being so far away from family, a new you know, country, new culture? What was that adaption like? Yeah, it was definitely hard in the beginning, but uh, I was always really excited because I always knew I had my dream, the NHL, um, and I wanted to get there. So I think that was just part of it. And I uh, obviously learned a lot through it, being away from home, being away from family. But I think, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a great way to kind of develop as a person and get to where I'm now. And yeah, I just enjoy the journey. And what was that draft day like? Because obviously you were in the mix as one of the top players to go in the draft. Was it stressful or were you just kind of like, man, wherever I go, it's going to be great. Happy to be here. And when San Jose calls your name, what's, what's the emotion? It was a little bit stressful, but also a, a beautiful moment. And I, you know, you're there with your whole family, everybody. So uh, even though you have a little bit of nerves, but uh, you try to enjoy every, every second of it because it's, uh, you know, that's a once in a lifetime uh, experience. So you try to soak it all in. And yeah, I think for every kid that gets drafted, it's a, it's a very special uh, thing. And first game, first shot, first goal. What was that like? I mean, finally getting into the National Hockey League, getting that opportunity, and then your first shot goes in on Carey Price, no less. Yeah, better than I uh, ever dreamed of it. So uh, pretty, pretty special to get the call up and then get the first game and that's Get, it, get the first goal uh, on the first shot. I think uh, you can write it uh, better than that. Is it nice coming into a team that has a couple of Swiss guys, some guys you have some connections with, some history with? Does that ease the transition? I know it's the first trade you've had in your career. So does that kind of help the transition a little? Yeah, it definitely helps. Uh, guys that you've known before, to, uh, just reach out and any questions that you have, they're open 
to help you. So uh, yeah, uh, pretty lucky with, with three other Swiss guys here. So that makes the transition definitely a lot easier for me and they've been very helpful so far. And last one before I let you go, what are your goals now that you've arrived here? Obviously team goals and personal goals once, once you get on the ice. Yeah, my goal is uh, to make this team better, um, come in and, and give it my everything. Uh, I want to be the best player I can be for this team and they've uh, had a great season so far. So I think now it's, uh, yeah, ready to take the next step and uh, obviously uh, getting closer to the playoffs, you want to be ready. And then uh, when, when playoff uh, time comes, you want to be ready to make a big push and make some damage. Well, best of luck to you the rest of the way. Best of luck in the playoffs too. And Timo, thanks for joining us. Thank you, appreciate it for having me.